For years, Mark Falkowitz made a monthly pharmacy trip to buy medication for his aunt. How's your aunt? When he complained about the cost of the copays, the pharmacist at a major national chain whispered an alternative. Check area pharmacies' cash prices through comparison websites like GoodRx.com. He did, and found the same seven drugs that cost nearly $160 in copays available for just $62 cash without insurance at Philadelphia's Friendly Pharmacy. It's shocking. It's outrageous. It, 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 why do you have insurance? Pharmacies can sometimes offer a lower cash price because they don't always pocket the copay. It's, a, it's what we call a clawback. Pharmacist Tom D'Angelo showed us an example. You receive a $45 copay. From the patient. But you don't keep the copay. No. How much do you keep? We get $1.62. And where does the other $43.38 go? Comes out of our check from the PBM. A PBM, or pharmacy benefit manager, negotiates rates between pharmacies and insurance companies. They don't want pharmacies undercutting the deals, so contracts bar pharmacists from actively offering a cash sale. You're not supposed to talk. Ever. Not to you, not to our patients, not to anybody. D'Angelo can talk because he now runs a compounding pharmacy, not subject to non-disclosure agreements. Lawsuits are challenging clawbacks, and some states have outlawed them, but benefit managers insist pharmacists are empowered to charge the cash price if it's lower. Who do you blame? It's got to be the drug companies and the pharmacies. Got to be. They say they, they cover these things, and yes, they do cover them, but it's in your best interest not to use it. Good business for them, bad for me. The takeaway for consumers, ask your pharmacy for their cash price and consider shopping around. Brooks Silva Braga, CBS News, Philadelphia.